Let's talk about college football rivalries. I think it's the most interesting, entertaining, my favorite part of the sport. It's the soul of the sport, in my opinion. The toxicity, the bragging rights, the history behind it. The fact that no matter what has happened up until that point, when you face this certain opponent, nothing matters. All bets are off. You have these incredible stories of players breaking out onto the scene, making a name for themselves in these games. I think of Caleb Williams and the Red River shootout where he basically comes in midway point of the game, they are down, and he makes a name for himself and comes back against their biggest opponent of the regular season. Just moments like that, I I live for. It's what I love about the sport. So I thought, as we ramp up and as we begin our journey to kick off really close, relatively, I would say, about two weeks away for week zero, I thought I would tier rank every single college football rivalry that I could think of. And and this is a backwards way of doing tier rankings that you've seen on YouTube. Usually I pull up the tier maker. We go through every single one. We place them on a bunch of tiers, but I've already done that because I don't want to just go through every single rivalry and just say why they're in each spot. I think I'm going to generalize and point out some of the big ones that might, you know, people might disagree with. And so we're going to go through, you take a look at which tier you would think would go in the other one. Like if you think a a rivalry should be in a different spot, let me know. And if it's your first time on Rush the Field on this channel, seeing this face, all I'll ever ask of you before we dive in is just give me another chance to talk football with you. That's all that matters to me. Whether that's a like, a comment, a subscribe, I just want to be able to talk football with you guys. And leaving a comment and being able to interact with you is, is one of the biggest parts of this that I just personally love. I love talking in front of the camera. I love doing editing. I, like This is a passion project to me. So all I'll ever ask of you is just give me another opportunity to talk football, but we can go ahead and dive right in. So we have six tiers to talk about. We have the legendary tier. These are the best of the best. So like I'm reserving about six spots for these, and it's hard to argue any of them to be lower. Then we get to the heated tier. These are still really, really good rivalries. Do not get that twisted. Do not get it messed up. I think these are fantastic rivalries. It's just you can only put so many at the very top of college football. Then we get to the when they are both good tier. What I mean by that is if one side isn't really up to snuff when it comes to, I would say, talent or how good their season has been, it definitely knocks this rivalry down a peg. But when they're both good, they're fantastic. They could be as high as legendary tier. Then we get the occasional upsets. I would say this is a rivalry that you know maybe has been one-sided. Maybe uh, one team has dominated for so long that Occasionally, an upset would be major. Think if like Ohio State had dominated for 20 years and then Michigan had won a game. Maybe that would be where it lands, but I think there's a couple teams that this applies. Then we have the average tier. This is probably the one that's going to bother people the most, primarily just because I might not be as educated on the history. So if you're a fan of one of these teams and you feel like they should be a step above, let me know. I would love to hear and be like, educated on these rivalries and then i have the rivals with three question marks this is just something that i don't really know much about these rivalries and i didn't really want to place them anywhere without being disrespectful and if you think even putting them there is disrespectful but there's only about two games or matchups here so i'll dive into that here in a second because i think we're going to work our way up rivals i have it's cincinnati versus miami of ohio which is called battle for the bell and when i googled that it popped up a different matchup and then uh, USF versus UCF. Uh, I think these are two very interesting programs when we're talking about their history, especially from the early 2000s and moving forward. Uh, but I don't know much about the the intensity, the stories. Maybe it's new rivalries. Maybe I'm just completely missing out on the battle for Ohio uh, because Miami of Ohio versus Cincinnati went completely over my head. So I mean, no disrespect, but If you are a fan of one of these teams, maybe enlighten me or maybe they should be like in the average tier. As you can see for the average tier, the the glaring concerns that I have is Duke, North Carolina. It's a basketball rivalry. We are talking about college football here. So let me make that very, very clear here because I I think I would bump up some other matchups if it was just school rivalries. And I understand that could be very, very confusing, but I'm sticking on college football right now. I would say Colorado versus Colorado State had a fantastic matchup last year. But to be honest, this was not really a rivalry that was on my radar. And I think that, yes, it had one of the best games last year. It had a ton of intensity, but I really didn't hear much about it before, probably because Colorado was one of the worst programs in the country. 
I would say the border war is one that might piss some people off. I don't believe they play each other anymore. And to be honest, I haven't heard anything about it. I remember their 2007 matchup because they were both incredibly good that year. But outside of that, I really don't hear much. Kansas, Kansas State, I could hear an argument for maybe they should be in heated. But these are all matchups that I think are rivalries. I think it's fair to call them that, but I don't think they should be in this upper echelon of a tier. Then we have the occasional upsets here. Like I said, I think this is a situation where maybe one side has dominated the other, or maybe it's a situation where the ranked team tends to lose. Uh, I think of LSU and Texas A&M. They've gone back and forth over the past couple of years where maybe one of them has been ranked and been surprised. Or I would say even Clemson versus South Carolina is that situation. And maybe I'm downgrading like or downplaying the intensity of these. But I also think a lot of these cases, there's rivalries that are just better with a different team, a better matchup. I, I, I think Clemson, South Carolina, I can hear it out on maybe this should be a heated rivalry. LSU, Texas A&M, I think both of them have bigger fish to fry when it comes to rivalries. OU versus OSU, the Bedlam series is one that I wish did not leave our, our graces and is not a, a game that got ripped apart due to conference realignment, but that's just the case that we're in. I know it was intense, but there was also something that Oklahoma pretty much dominated. So I think it was an occasional upset from Oklahoma State. I would say that when we get to the when they are both good tier, you have LSU and Alabama, and this is the one I was talking about. Plus another couple that you will see as these are great rivalries as well, but I think they are usually a lot better when the teams are better. And so Alabama and LSU, I think are intense rivalries due to the fact of how much talent is on both sides of the coin. I don't think this is as much of a hatred of two programs, uh, two collegiate football programs. I think in all honesty, you could really put in heated and I would not bat an eye, but I think if, if Alabama wasn't as dominant as it was uh, with Nick Saban or if LSU has a down year, I think it's close because the talent always tends to match up. These are two very like high level programs in the SEC, but I just can't like compare it to like an Auburn versus Alabama. I can't compare it to an Alabama versus Tennessee. I, I think it's a great game every single year, but I think it's a great game, but not a great rivalry. I, and, and, you know, that might piss some people off, especially when we're talking about the longevity behind a USC versus Notre Dame. I I could I could hear you out on this being a, a heated rivalry. It's a historic one. Notre Dame is one that maybe I just don't have a lot of knowledge on their rivalries. I, I remember a lot of well, obviously I hadn't lived through it, but I remember a lot of Miami versus Notre Dame having a lot of beef. Notre Dame has a ton of history. So if if I'm completely off base here. And you, and you completely disagree. I hear you out. I completely understand. UCLA versus USC. I see a lot of USC on this year. I just think it's dependent on one of these seems to be a lot better, or if not both of them. Uh, so I, I struggle to put place like the USC Notre Dame game. I struggle to place the Michigan Notre Dame game. I think they're good games, but I think both of them need to be good teams for it to be elevated into an intense game. I think a lot of the heated and the legendary tiers. I think regardless of how good one side is or the other, it's an intense football game. Then we get to the heated tier, and this is the largest one here. I, I struggle to see any argument for any of these guys to be any higher or lower. You will see in the legendary tier six spots that I think are just solidified the best rivalries in college football. I think Texas A&M and Texas has the potential to jump up into legendary tier just because this is a... a, a a matchup that has not faced each other in about 10 years. So I could easily see this jumping up. I can see Florida and Tennessee jumping up. I think Tennessee and Alabama, as you could see the legendary tier, uh, it's in no order, by the way. Let me make that very clear. There's no order to it. You have the Florida versus Georgia, Army, Navy, the Iron Bowl, the game, the Red River shootout, and the Tennessee-Alabama matchup. I just think this is the top six when we are talking about rivalries in college football. If if you really want to try to make an argument for maybe, you know, Oregon, Oregon State, I could hear you out. I could hear Texas A&M and Texas. I, I could hear Mississippi State and Mississippi, the Egg Bowl. But like all these games, Backyard Brawl is one of the most underrated ones in the country. But I just think when we're talking about the legendary tier, it, it is not only that it doesn't matter what, each side is done leading up to that point. But I think it also is just the history and the intensity 
from decade to decade. And that's not to say the heated doesn't have that, but I think legendary just kind of brings that extra oomph to it. And I think this is easily the top six pretty comfortably. Now the order is where people get angry. I have iron bowl as the number one rivalry in college football with the game at number two. I believe I have army Navy at three. I'm just trying to do this on the fly. Then I have red river shootout at four. And then I would probably put the world's largest outdoor cocktail party at number five. But like I said, this is a very quick tier list video, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm very open to whether it's criticism, support, or maybe I need to be enlightened on some of the history of these rivalries. I'm really trying to, you know, broaden my understanding of the sport. So this is really just a starting point to see what are your guys' thoughts. But once again, thank you so much for watching Rush the Field today. And I will ask you one last time, just give me another opportunity to talk football with you and have a fantastic day.